we can't afford to wait on these issues for details and platitudes and spinning that platitudes are acceptable mm -hmm. is not why people sent us to Ottawa and and you know just that 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 pat okay. on the head is so disgusting, Don. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I want to talk about the fact that I come from the Maritimes, where I come from a writing that we are surrounded by water in Nova Scotia. We have rising sea levels. In my writing, we have the, the Cape of Chignecto, the Chignecto Isthmus. And there are water on both sides. It's rising. And if we don't do something pretty soon, we're going to be an island. So that's going to cost a lot of money for Nova Scotians and for Canada because there's a lot of money and, and business that goes back and forth across that isthmus. But so I have to say, in a throne speech, you don't just lay out every single detail that you're going to do. That comes in the bills that are coming. That comes in our green bills that are coming down the line. That comes in the fact that we're going to be cutting taxes for the middle classes. That comes to, for a lot of different things. I've heard a lot of throne speeches in my time of 10 years now in government in Nova Rachel Scotia. Yeah. And, you know, it's like you don't lay out every single thing. You try and address issues right across the country. This is not just one province or one region. We are an entire country. We are the West, we are the East, we are the Middle, Doesn't we, we like are it. the North. Well, it is, and we have to remember that, and we have to think it's not just about us, it's about everybody. Many of our workers in Nova Scotia are working in, in out West, and guess not what? Not anymore. They're out of work, your too. Government. And in Nova Scotia, That's right. That's guess right. What? The fisheries died a long time ago, and we're trying to get that back. So we know what it's like not to have things. We know what it's like to lose our homes. We know what it's like to be poor. And we are ready to say, look, we need to get into green, clean energy and move away from fossil fuels eventually, but at a pace that is going to be okay and good for everybody and not just the few. That's where I well, was getting. I, I